Hello and welcome everyone to week 9 of the 2020 season of Dragon Ball Z League. On the mic today is myself, Jay, and with me is Zem. How we doing? If you don't know what Dragon Ball Z League is, I would highly recommend going back to week 1. We'll explain it in great detail, but to put it as simply as I can, Dragon Ball Z League is an AI versus AI uh, league where we have, oh gosh, how many teams? 16 teams, you'll get that over a 15 week main season. It's a lot of fun. Join us over on the Discord and you can participate. Um, join a team, help them build every single week. It's a ton of fun. Uh, while you're there on the Discord, come check out our watch parties. They happen every single stream. Uh, you guys watch the stream together, kind of talk about the matches as they happen. A lot of fun. Uh, you can also join our graphics team, which made all the graphics you'll see here today, especially one new one that we have that we're excited to unveil in a second. Uh, and you can also join our stats team. Our stats team was integral to the success of the All-Star, even just having the All-Star game happen. They have been cranking out those numbers every single week. So a big shout out to the stats team. And with that said, we have our All-Star characters. Very, very exciting. Out of 16 characters, these 10 made it in. Let's go ahead and take a look at who it is. I don't think they're ready. At, I don't think they're ready. I mean, you guys are not going to believe who number one is. It's a BuzzFeed article. We have 10 Dragon Ball Z characters. You'll never believe who's number one. Actually, just kidding. Everybody knows. <laughs> All right. So who's wow. number one? Number one. Nobody's surprised here. We have the champ sitting at number one and at number two close behind him we have prince majin vegeta i think everybody saw that coming with the uh the crazy performance he's had but uh yeah there you go who's number three number three is surprisingly say woman she's been very good very consistent so she made it in as number three and then look at her looking at sus at this ain't her gohan number four future gohan wow i cannot believe those two made it in just because of i mean i can't believe say woman made it in just because who thought at the beginning of the season that she would be here but she's here and future gohan love the cm at number five we have broly i think everybody saw that coming too broly is just a fan favorite and number six giving him the talk to the hand is android 18. Ooh. This is already looking scary, but we are not done. Number seven is O'Reilly, the demon child herself. And look at number eight, Bardock. He's running for his life because it's going down. Let's see if they end up on the same team or opposing each other. That would be hilarious. And number nine, also kind of a little freaked out by O'Reilly, is Nuova. Glad to see him there. He's been great for Namek, so love to see that. And rounding it off, flying in the back, is Kid Trunks. So here is your top 10. Really excited to see what's going to happen. These 10 characters will be split into two teams, Team Kami and Team Guru, that will duke it out in the All-Star game. Just to give a little bit more information about that, there will not be a stream next week, so nothing at all. Instead, you guys can check out the Dragon Cast. So make sure to leave all of your questions in our Discord server, uh, and we'll try to get to all of them. We did last time, so we should be able to get to all of them again. Uh, and then the week after that, we will have the All-Star Game. So that's when you can check out this and the Sweeper Games. It'll be a lot of fun. And then two weeks from now is when we will be picking up regular season with Week 10. So don't worry if you don't see Week 10 for a while. I promise you're not missing anything. We're just we're just taking a couple weeks of a break just to have a little bit of fun. Whew. With that all being said... Let's get into our divisions. In North Kai, we have the Androids in Royals at 5 and 3, Budokai at 4 and 4, and Kaiju at 3 and 5. And in East Kai, we have Cinema at 4 and 4, GT and Muscle at 3 and 5, and Derp finally getting that dub at 1 and 7. Glad, glad they got the dub. In West Kai, we have Bujins, Hybrids, and Namek all at 6 and 2, with ED at 5 and 3. And in South Kai, we have Cold at 5 and 3, Rugrats at 4 and 4, and Resurrected Warriors and Sentai at 2 and 6. 
Wow, crazy divisions this week. And I just wanted to say real quick, I did not mention it. I totally forgot. That graphic was brought to you by Snuffy Sam. I don't know if I mentioned it. I don't think I did. But uh, yes, thank you, Snuffy, for getting that out so quickly. Seriously, it was like a day turnaround for that. So super, super helpful. But yeah, back back to the league. Crazy divisions. I think everybody saw that coming, though. This is a great season so far. Yeah, it's just a crazy season and we even got another crazy week for you week nine let's see how all these records shake up and of course every week we at least have one divisional so we'll see that yeah. match going down should be a lot of fun what is our first match this week Ooh, i started off with a bang i love you know sentai squad they're the the meme team that everybody wants to be uh <laughs> at two and six they're going against the scary and powerful androids at 5 and 3. Yeah, this one, I mean, I think obviously everybody's kind of expecting androids to be the dominant team, which is fair. They are a very strong team, but I believe in Sentai. I, <laughs> You can't doubt the posing. Uh, Sentai has number 3, Say Woman, so you better recognize. That's true. That's true. We're the, who the androids have. That's what I thought. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> let's go ahead and jump into this match. I can't wait. All right. So 16 versus Birder, a very scary matchup to see in the first one. They, 16 almost made it in to the All-Star. That's it's pretty crazy. It is. Let's go ahead and start off with builds. Android 16 with attack plus 2, defense minus 1, power of rage, light body, master throw, quick fast attack, serious on Trunks AI. Hard hitting melee, and they give him power of rage, so he might be winning some clashes. <laughs> but let's go ahead and look at Birder over here. Birder with super plus one power of rage, launcher support, indignation, quick fast attack, also on Trunks AI. So more of a B2 build, but also with power of rage, so it might be a trade. Yeah, this, this should be interesting. Uh, obviously, this map is kind of a counter to 16 in a lot of ways, because as long as they're not above the ship, his grab uh, would will not do anything, and that's a really strong part of his build. Are you mixing 16 up with Raccoon? I totally am. What am I thinking? I'm, they're both red hair, but 16's grab is pretty good, right? Yes, it's very it doesn't good. doesn't plant. It's <laughs> very strong. does not plant, so Birder right, can sorry, get it. And Birder is getting it. Oh my god, 16! Wow, okay, yeah, okay, Birder finally with a Twinkle Toes Tango will do a little bit of damage. It'd be a good time to tag. It would be 8,000 points damage, very respectable, uh, and an after image, very nice. Birder, he's trying to pile on that damage, and, uh, but if 16 just even sneezes on him, he's going down, so. Uh, he's, like oh, this? there we go. Yeah. Achoo. Ooh! <laughs> 6,000? <laughs> <laughs> that was a disgusting 6,000 points of damage. And in comes Jace. All right, Jace with Q plus two, super minus one, Kabita secret art, fighting spirit, ignition, savior, light body on Selei, the spammiest spam build they ever spam. So hopefully he does some. Yeah, I'd love to, or I guess hate to see if he just does not throw out a single B two, and it's like thanks for thanks Jace for not doing anything. Oh, come on, Jace, we cheat. You to do. Oh, I was hoping Jace would have done an alt and bring back Birder from the dead. Oh, that would be awesome. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Wow, okay, so he almost has taken down 16 with, without taking a full bar. If he can take him out here, there'd be a huge, huge makeup for Sentai. Ooh. Oh, they're back in it. Yeah, they're in that lead. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's still like almost a bar, but honestly, way to go, Chase, bringing that back, especially when 16 is an incredible character. Yeah, it was looking kind of scary. I'm glad he was able to do it. But now we got Android 19. 19 with defense plus two, power of rage, master throw, light body, latent energy on Majin Buu AI. So tanky defensive boy, and he is going in on Jace. Yeah, and draining that uh, that key, which is incredibly hurtful to Jace because now Jace won't be able to spam, but he tags. So uh, in comes Sail Woman. Oh, the, the legend herself. And here oh. she goes! Oh, nope, just kidding. <laughs> Punched out of a Justice Rush 2. Say a woman with Defense Plus 2, Power of Rage, Launcher Support, and Savior on Cell AI. So, uh, mostly her defense tanky build. Both of these are on defense tanky with a little bit of Power of Rage, so it's kind of, maybe it might be a wash between these two. 
Yeah, and uh, Sentai once again, kind of on the back foot right now, but I think that they can make it up, especially with Say Woman. Uh, as long as she can get some B2s off, which is a little concerning with Android 19 and that grab, but we'll see what she can do. Yeah, 19 is just meleeing all over her. Okay, no way. Okay, just this cool. countdown. <laughs> all right, I mean, this is going to do some pretty decent damage, and uh, I guess 6,000. Yeah, that's one raccoon grab, but okay. <laughs> yeah. Raccoon, god dang it. 16! Bye, oh, Key. Yeah. Okay, next time. Yeah, bye, <laughs> Key. Thank, thanks for coming today. Uh, we'll see you next time. Wow, uh, 19, though. 19 is doing really well. I, I, we haven't really pointed that, but God, he took out a good majority of Jace and now say a woman. They both got off their B1s. Yeah, both of these characters, I would say, are very consistent, so I could see them going at each other like this. Yeah, if she can get the ult, Justice Judgment. Got it. It does connect. <laughs> and, uh, oh, in comes, uh, say a man. Oh, hey, you're out this clothes. week. Judge? <laughs> yeah. God damn it. 12,000 <laughs> points of damage, and another B1 gets off. She's back up to max power. This is, if she can finish him off without using it, Android 17's right no. there in the back. Nope, just kidding. There goes that max power. <laughs> wow, so powerful. Nope. Justice Countdown misses. <laughs> Very linear. Oh my god. Like, this fight has been going on for so long, it's surprising that neither one of these two have healing, and they've been in it this long. Did 19 just try to absorb a, a beam, even though Say Woman doesn't use beams? Yes. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. Ooh, Galaxy 19 Jane. with the double win! They both had Power of Rage, but 19 was like, no, I'm winning it twice. Wow, okay, so in comes Ginyu and just a sliver of 19. Ginyu, get him out of there if you guys want to win. Uh, probably not, though. 19 again. He has that power of rage. Captain Ginyu with yeah. attack plus one, eternal life, light body, quick pass attack on Goku eye. So healing and melee, and it was oh, enough. And there goes 19. Uh, 17 coming in. Could be bad for Ginyu for us. I don't know. 17. God, Sentai Squad. 17's been kind of weirdly inconsistent sometimes. Oh, we'll see. 17 hasn't been the most consistent flower in the league either. Oh, he's got that. Uh, 17 with attack plus one, eternal life, serious indignation on Gohan AI. If Cell is out, give 17 Cell's build, apparently. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, it works, you know. Uh, Self-harm! And wow, look at those boosts stack on Ginyu. But 17 is at max power. Uh oh, this might be a watch. They both have eternal life, so Wait. them trading, it will be interesting. Sometimes just a little bit behind, but it's easily catchable. Oh, absolutely. Um, Super 17 is in the back. That one is a little bit like hit or miss, depending on which week. But uh, Ginyu and Jace, I, I think those are okay members to have in the back. Oh my god. But now when you get a 10,000 point melee combo on you. <laughs> But he's not done yet. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> okay, so... Ooh! Oh my god. <laughs> that 17 With sellout, Android 17 comes to play, apparently. <laughs> apparently so, wow. Be interesting, you might have to change up Cell's build and keep 17 like this. <laughs> yeah, this is in... And, okay. Ginyu's already... Did Ginyu even hit the field this week? I, I don't know what happened to him. <laughs> 17 just went off, and now he's going to eat him up some Jace. Yeah, Jace has the max power. He needs to throw an ult and try to make back some damage, but I don't know. He's got to throw it. Wrong, wrong move, unfortunately. Wow, like that 17, he said, what are you aiming at? Like, wh why? <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, get your head in the game, Jace. Oh but yeah, God. unfortunately, I think this is it for... Uh, Good old Sentai. 17. Wow. I mean, what a performance this week. Just eating Ginyu. Oh my god. Too bad. And you were yeah. So close to okay. So, wow. Really, really strong victory from uh, Androids. Really just, wow. I don't even know what to say. That 17, it scares me. But uh, Sentai Squad, unfortunately. Unfortunately, does not get another win. They will go down to two and seven. 
Seven, thank you. I, I was on the tip of my tongue. And androids go up to six and three. Can't wait to see what they do in two weeks. Uh, you got some time, you know, to think about what your next move will be. So, hey, if, if anything helps, I guess that's the, the nice thing about having a break. We have the Rugrats, all of our tiny tots at four and four. And they're facing down GT Grand Tour at three and five. GT has been on the resurgence, so this is really a, a scary match, I would say, because you really don't know how it's going to go. I mean, obviously, Rugrats have some some strong members. Two of them are in the All-Star game, but GT has been on the rise. Yeah, so it would be a really interesting match. Are we ready to get started? Let's get into it. Ooh, Super Saiyan 4 versus Goten. Oh, this is going to be a scary one. Super yeah. Saiyan 4 Vegeta with Key plus 2, Super minus 1, Indignation, Fighting Spirit, Rush Blast 3, Light Body, a Broly's Ring on Yajou AI. So spam and hard hitting Rush Blast. Yeah. And he will be facing down Goten. Goten with Attack plus 1, Indignation, Dende's Healing, Fighting Spirit, Power of Rage on Chaozo AI. So kind of an all-rounder build, and he does have some Clash boosts. So hopefully he'll be getting into some Clashes and winning them. Yeah, I mean, we'll have to see. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, I don't know where to put him yet. He's still kind of up in the air. A final flash, that's probably... Oh, it, it hits! Goten! I was about to say that's probably the wrong B2, but apparently I'm wrong. <laughs> what am I supposed to know? <laughs> oh my god, that... Oh my god, one of those was 500. Goten? <laughs> Vegeta! How? Goten has wow. the power of rage! That Rush Blast did at least 1k. Okay, so Vegeta has a lot of strong tools. Goten going to have to start doing something. He's getting kind of creamed right now. Yeah, oh my god. You were saying you don't know what you feel about Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta? Well, he'll show you what you think of him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's like, what? What do you mean you don't know? I'm Super Saiyan 4. That's the best. Oh, he hasn't seen Super yet. <laughs> you better recognize. Wow. <laughs> Oh my god, well, Goten is slowly catching up, though. Yeah, no, he's getting there. Goten, uh, death by a thousand needles, whereas Vegeta is more like a, a nuke. <laughs> oh my god. It's back and forth, and Goten at least has some healing, so he's able to stay in there. Vegeta doesn't, so all that damage is sticking. Yeah, I mean, we'll have to see. This is gonna come down to the wire, it looks like. Oh, oh and Vegeta tags. Early Okay. Tag. And a Super Saiyan, or, gosh, Super Volley doesn't finish him off, but God, runs into a B2. What was going on You got to peel him back. GT, uh, Goku, Super Saiyan 3, at attack plus 2, defense minus 1, serious quick fast attack, Dende ceiling, power of rage, and a Broly's ring taking out his opponent on Cell AI. Wow. Okay. GT Goku, good job. In comes Cell Jr. missing that B2 right away, or I guess blocked. He, he broke him, though. What are you going to do with it, Cell Jr.? Charge and throw out a B2. Do it. Okay, one Rush Blast. Not really ideal, but okay. So Jr. with Key Plus One, Launcher Support, Fighting Spirit, Latent Energy, Light Body, Quick Fast Attack on Krillin and I. So a uh, kind of spam all-rounder build. Let's see what he can do. Another Innocence Rush connects this time. Uh, looks like, wow, does a pretty decent amount of damage. 8,000 points of damage against GT Goku, who is now down to a bar and a half. Yeah, about health-wise, they're about even, but GT does have the tag advantage. Wow, and that was a 5,000, just that little melee combo, so if he can get stuff going, uh, Cell Jr. might be in trouble, but I don't think Cell Jr. is going to let him have a chance. Or oh, they'll just keep on him. teleporting. Tag? Yeah, he's setting oh, up for Pan, oh. there we go. Oh. Into an instance rush. So selfish! <laughs> he saw the, the attack coming, and he's like, oh, Pan! Red shirt Pan, I should add. Yeah, red shirt this week. Pan with super plus two, key minus one, launch of support, power of rage, savior on Yajirobe eye. So hard hitting B2s and she does have that clash boost. Wow, if that charged up Kamehameha had hit, that would have done massive damage. Unfortunately, uh, it's a very linear thing and Cell Jr. just had to move left slightly. Uh, Gil Missile. Move back slightly. <laughs> yes. The ultimate dodging technique, uh, listing backwards slightly. God, and the tag game with GT, along with just how well Rugrats is doing, I can't really tell right now who's really in the lead. This fight could still go either way. 
Yeah, now this is a very, uh, wow, kind of still up in the air match. Uh, I do love the tagging from GT, honestly. And another Gil Missile, once again, misses right in his face. But to be fair, she punched him out of that one. So yeah, I guess both <laughs> fair. These rush B2s, it's just like, nah, I'm just going to step back. I'm good. <laughs> Oh, I thought she was going to throw out something else because she did the little, like, step back, but uh, into a clash. Oh, he won it. He has no clash wow. boost while she had dragon power, so. What? Yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. That gave me a heart attack. She did not <laughs> move out of the way of that. Oh, and it was to her back, so that solar flare didn't work. Wow, and Cell Jr. is showing up this week. Wait, where's this Cell Jr.? Like, they might have found something on him. Another Innocence Rush. He is really spamming those. Uh-oh. Is he going to take her down before she tags? She set up. Uh-oh. Get up. Tag? Do something. Pam! <laughs> Eddie? Oh, okay. Nope. Okay. Sorry, Pam. And in comes Baby Vegeta. Baby Vegeta. Super Baby 1 with Defense Plus 2, Dende's Healing, Dragon Spirit, Sirius on Piccolo Eye. So, uh, Defense... Nice tanky boy, so hopefully he can stay in and be able to bring this back for his team. But I would say at this point, I want to say Rugrats is in the lead. Yeah, especially when they have Aureli in the back there. It's a scary thing to see in the back. Um, if he can take out Cell Jr. without too much damage, I'd say it's still doable. But uh, we'll just <gasps> This is an ult. That is an ult and a cutscene ult. Oh, he dodges. Well, at least he tagged. In yeah, comes Aureli. I mean... Ooh, and I forgot about Cyberman in the back. Full health. And a ping. Ooh. Ooh. She's not playing. Caps off this week. <laughs> yeah, 12,000 point ping. I, I'm i going to have to give this to Rugrats. I mean, obviously, I GT can make it up. Yeah, but it, uh, it's Rugrats still favorite. too early, really, with super plus two, key minus one, power of rage, tension up, save your light body on Yadro AI. So a hard hitting B to her, and she does have the clash boost, so she might be winning it. Oh, here you go again. Oh, oh, oh what? wait, what? 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 Huh? What the <laughs> heck? He, like, dodged and just pulled the trigger on that, oh. and it missed. Oh, oh, that was scary. This <laughs> That was crazy. And I I'm just going to say it right now. I am very uncomfortable about how Aureli takes damage. Like, when Baby is just punching her in the face, she, like, doesn't move her body. It's just her head. <laughs> it's very <laughs> creepy. Like, look! <laughs> She's like, I take those. That's nothing. But it it's is something what? because she's taking it. Oh! Just punch her punch out of it. And a Gallic gun? Galaxy oh, brain. Baby is bringing this back. It was way too early to say thending. Aureli is down. Wow. What a galaxy brain move. <laughs> but no. In is the legend. The Kid Boo killer. The Nappa <laughs> beater. Cyberman. Cyberman. And another tag. Oh my god. GT is just tagging. That's like, what? Their third, fourth tag? Probably. <laughs> In comes Cyberman. Cyberman with defense plus two, attack minus one, latent energy, unleash key, serious, hatred sands, quick fast attack, un and it's because it's kill on Ginyu. Don't make me read that again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh. Goku, wrong B2 in Super Kamehameha, but he's doing some decent damage right now to Cyberman. Yeah, and now it's swung in uh, GT's favor. Cyberman is... Taking him down, though. Whew, good job. Okay. Back comes Baby Vegeta. Didn't get much of a rest. So he really didn't. And it's didn't about, get a full bar back. about one bar difference between these two teams right now? I think, yeah. I mean, not even a bar. I would say they're just about even right now. Uh, looks like Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta has, will come well, in guess, with two. And yeah, so that's true. So will come in with one. But yeah, this fight is definitely not over. It's just a swinging fight with GT's tags and with how well so Junior did. It's amazing how well this fight's going. Oh, no. Got flinched out of it. After image, interesting move against the Finger Blitz Barrage. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I think that one is just one that you just like take and uh, don't get much damage done to you. Wow, these two are just kind of so even. It still happens when you have two defense tanky boys going at it. Yeah. Got that. Oh, there's a smart after image. Baby Vegeta trying to capitalize on it. Can he make some moves? If he takes out Cyberman, it's going to be pretty good. Uh, 
the worst case scenario right now for GT is Cyberman tagging, and that's also the best case for Rugrats. Yeah, it uh, Cyberman does not have healing, Baby dies, so this damage is sticking, and he's just slowly losing the fight. Oh, but he tags though, as you said. There we go. There we go. Innocence uh -oh. Rush, he's been throwing him out. Oh. Uh -oh. Oh, wow. God, you hate to see that. Yeah, Baby Vegeta's been really good about these Gallic guns. It's insane. And he transforms. This is not looking great. Final Flash probably won't hit, but scary, I guess. <laughs> yeah, there's no healing on either one of the Rugrats, so they need, definitely need to, you know, step it up a little bit and not take any damage. Yeah, that's that's the killer right there. The, 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 they just have to not lose to win. <laughs> he can tag. He can tag. He sure can, but I don't think Baby is going to let him. This, I do not think it's enough for Cyberman to take back. But I also said GT couldn't come back, so what do I know, right? Oh, GT tag. That's like the fifth tag. Like, it's not that Rugrats are not doing well. It's just the tag game on GT is so much this week. Cyberman, I mean, yeah. at this point, if you want to do it... If you want to do it, if Vegeta will let you. I no. don't think Vegeta will let him. And wow, what a W from GT. I, I counted them out, but uh, Commentator's Curse, whatever you want to call it, GT proving me wrong, coming back for that W. And Rugrats, you know, they had a lot of damage from a Rayleigh and Cell Jr., but unfortunately the pieces just weren't there, so... Uh, I think now these teams are tied in record. Yes, both of them are now four and five. Rugrats, you got something with that Cell Jr. Put that all together and, and definitely bring it back next week. I'm looking forward to seeing what's up with that. Absolutely. And that is the end of episode one of week nine. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to check out the Discord. Make sure to check out the All-Star game in, uh, not next week, but the week after and week 10, the week after that. So... Don't worry, there's not going to be a stream next week. Don't come back next week, but make sure Hello? to check out the stuff. <laughs> we'll see you then. <laughs>